You are not invincible. I can see a plain as day. No, Jake, not invisible. Invincible, meaning nothing can hurt me. I mean, look, I'm bathing in Bull's mouth, and ta-da! Not a scratch on me. Of course nothing can hurt you. You've got protected student status. What you talk about, Jake? Come on, Adam. Do you really think a delectable morsel such as yourself could survive otherwise? You mean... That's why I've never been viciously devoured? That's why I can do... <laughs> this? <laughs> hey, Mo, what'd I do? Or this? <laughs> oh... Or this? No! You cannot do that! Okay, actually you can. You missed one. So it's true? I'm not... invincible? Of course not, Lion. I can see you plain as day. No! I mean invincible! Zin cannot be harmed? Ha! <laughs> ah, that is why we have the protected students list. You see, Mr. Lion, the list is designed to level the playing field so that all students can partake in a subpar education without the constant threat of bodily harm. I'm the only one on the list, aren't I? Oh, no. We give protected status to many, 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 many students. Oh? Sure. You see, some kids lack basic survival skills, or they don't possess fur, or claws, or fangs, or wings, or gills, or poison glands, or barbed tails, or those little creepy feely things, or athletic ability. Or they have bright red, uh, fur that could make them a target of predators. Or an oversized head, or stubby limbs, or a lack of pigment that practically makes their pasty skin glow in the dark. Some of our protected students simply lack the basic fashion sense that makes them think that cargo shorts were ever in. Or maybe they just walk funny or personify the phrase namby-pamby. Still others have a tendency to spit a lot when they talk or sound very girly for a boy, especially when they're excited and their voices go into a horrifically high-pitched, glass-shattering death knell screech that sends shivers up the spines of- I'm 